Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Washington State as Glenn Serio attempts to get the wrong dude today. And he, well, just about ends up getting put on the ground. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up guys, we're here at the University of Washington Post Office, as you can see. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Many, many minutes later. What are you filming for? What's that? What are you filming for? I'm just taking some pictures. Well, I'd rather not be in your pictures. Well. Can you turn it off, please? No. Because I have a right to film in public. No, you don't. You don't have a right just to film anybody because they don't want their film pictures taken. So, what do I need a contract from you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And who's going to write up that contract? Why don't you just turn it off and stop acting? Why would I do that? Hey, Glenn, where have you been hiding these past few months? I mean, you don't call, you don't write, you barely make any videos anymore. You were once one of the more popular uh, frauditors out there. But then that little arrest issue, uh, you started going downhill after that. And last time we saw you, you were uh, pretty much living in an airport and your sister didn't want to take you in because, well, she called the cops on you because of your personality, pretty much. I mean, what a shame. Your own sister didn't even want to take you in. That really says something about who you are. Why are you doing this? Because I can. No, but why? My business, not yours. Uh, they're closed. It's 530. Do you work at the post office? This guy should leave. It's, it's after closing. Why, why is he even here? What's the problem with this guy? Because you're taking pictures. That has nothing to do with you. you to take pictures of you. Do you know what this guy's up to? Uh, that's my supervisor. Are you, are you uh, by any chance, doing... Uh, like I'm just taking some pictures. That's all I'm doing. I'm not bothering no one. And when, right, but it's after close. When it's, Why don't you leave? When, when you leave, I'll leave. How about that? Are you always such an entitled prick? I don't know. You seem like a prick to me. No, sir. He is not a prick, but uh, he is certainly a boil on everybody's ass. I mean, he's the kind of boil that, well, it makes it real painful to sit down. And one that certainly needs to be lanced before it gets really infected. He made that lady leave earlier. Yeah, Did you see that? Are you here for uh, is after 530? I'm just here to take some pictures. I'll leave as soon as, you know, you're done here. So You can document that I told the lady that she was... Why don't you mind your own business and go about your business? Okay. What's that going to do? You go closer. What? What's the problem? Just, uh, just, uh, you should leave. I shouldn't leave. It's after closing time, you have no reason to be here. We're already closing, so. Right, but you're still serving customers, so. He's the last, last Okay, that's fine, right. I'll leave. But you're just some troll. I'm a troll? Yeah. Why am I a troll? Because I, I want to do my you're business? To get reactions. You have no idea what I'm doing. Are you here for your, exactly. uh, I'm just taking some pictures. I'm not bothering no one. This guy has been, he's actually been bothering your customers. Oh boy, talk about gaslighting right here, Glenn. Hey, you are certainly the master of it. And you know what, being the master of gaslighting, it kind of makes me wonder how you've been able to, well, get with women. Because you know what, this sorry SOB actually had a child with somebody. Can you imagine that this disgusting pile of whatever this is actually found a woman that wanted to breed with him? I mean, I guess that just shows you there's somebody for anybody out there. But still, rather disturbing thought right there. You made that lady leave earlier? No. I you forced I, her I to leave. I 
No, no, you forced her to leave. This lady was in line, and he he made her get out. You made her get out. And you don't work for the post office, so you can't do that. You are not a postal employee. You cannot do that. Don't bother the customers. You don't work here. You don't work here. Is it not right that after 5.30 you shut the door uh, and nobody should come in, no, right? It's, it's up to us, actually. Right. So That's up for him to decide. You do not work for the post uh, office. The he has the right to let her in or not. She said yes, if, I would like the door shut. If she's already in line yes. before we shut down the door, then she, she, she has to be... Uh, you know, Glenn likes to act like he's tough. But when it comes right down to it, he's nothing more than a coward. In fact, the second video that I made for this channel has him challenging a soldier and uh, Glenn ends up backing down after they go outside. So, yeah, not really a tough guy at all. More of a phony at that. It's not in line before the but it's not for you to decide. You don't work here. You don't work here. You don't decide who that's comes and goes. Asked, that's why I asked. You don't decide who comes and goes. Up. I will not shut up. That's why I will I not shut that's up. That's why I asked Get in line and take care of your that's business. Why I asked the person Get in line and take care of your business. Whether she wanted the door shut. Go in line said, yes, and take care of your business. I shut the door. The person came. Take care of your business shot. and get so out of my face. You don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. I haven't recorded. Listen. You decide who comes and goes, right? If you want them to leave, you tell them to leave, right? So if the lady came in and she was in line, you told her to leave. You told her. You told her. They close at five thirty, and she was here. You told her that you're gonna. She decided to leave. You're gonna make the post of workers work harder. Don't make them work harder. That's what I said. I have a photographic memory. Oh, you have a photographic memory, huh? Do you remember that time you got arrested in the bathroom? Yeah. That was a great time for everybody. One of the best Glenn Stereo videos that ever came out. Word for word, I will I tell you tell what her, you I said. I didn't tell her to leave. I told her she's going to make them work harder. She left on her own bullet. She got mad because you, would, you wouldn't you would bother her. You wouldn't stop bothering her. No, I told you her. You kept bothering I told her. her what the facts were. No, you need to leave her alone. It's what you need to do. And mind your own business. It's for him or her to decide. Don't worry about my name. What's your name? My name's Dave. What's your name? What's your last name? I'm not going to give you my last name, but what's your name? I'm not going to give you my name. You're just a pussy. That's Am I a pussy? Yeah, you yeah. sure are. Big man pussy. You're a picked up, you're a tough guy, huh? Yeah. So, Lola said, sorry about that. Yeah, we need to be able to have two people together. I know. I was just trying to be helpful. You don't work here. Don't mind. Don't mind other pe people's business. She wants to give her package. I'm going to report you to the powers of people. You do it. Well, I'm sure that Glenn would love to be in jail for the night or any other time because, well, it's a step up from all the men's shelters that he's been having to uh, crash in for the, well, past few years anyway because nobody wants to take this brown stained piece of underwear in anywhere he every it doesn't matter if he comes he doesn't work with the post office he can't tell the customers to leave he cannot do that he doesn't work here the lady was nice she just wanted to get her package out and he kept bothering her I did not keep you bothering. bothered her. You're putting words in my You mind. harassed her. I watched you. You want to see me harass somebody? You harassed her. Follow me outside. Follow you outside. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? No. I just said. What is it then? Outside. Follow you outside? Who the wants to follow you? Get a life, man. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry you gotta deal with people like that, man. That's that's terrible. That's that's absolutely awful. Oh, that's pretty dang funny right there, Glenn. 
telling that man to get a job while you haven't had a steady job in over a year. Not since you got fired from your previous job where uh, I'm sure they were glad to get rid of your sorry ass because you look like the uh, kind of person who would sit down and do nothing but eat up all the stock in the refrigerator. I mean, yeah, judging by the gut that you have, that's probably what you did. And now you're probably going to get kicked out of the men's shelters because, well, you're doing the exact same thing to them. They can't supply you a constant uh, stream of food, dude. It just doesn't work that way. A little longer than a few minutes later. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Let's call a cam back. I think he said meet you outside. What happened to that? I'm standing right here. Meet you outside. That's what you said. But you're walking away. You're walking away. He's walking away, big tough guy. Big tough guy. He said meet him outside. Who's walking away, huh? Oh, oh, like it would have even mattered in a way, Glenn, considering that every time somebody does stand up to you, you run away like a scared little boy. I mean, that's all you are is a boy trying to act like a tough guy. And that's all you'll ever be. A little boy trapped in a big man's body. Speaking of uh, a big man, uh, you really need to take uh, better care of yourself because uh, your hygiene lately, uh, from what I've seen, is uh, leaving something to be desired because I think I can smell you through my computer at this point. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.